In this video, I am going to be showing some very, very basic settings within XBMC. Um, things that I myself use and I think the majority of people will find helpful. Uh, if you need something more in depth, there are plenty of good tutorials for some of the deeper settings as well as a lot of good forums to help you as well if you have any problems or questions uh, or issues with any particular add-ons. Uh, there, there's a lot of help out there for that sort of thing. So that's all this is going to be. It's just a very quick look uh, at some of the basic settings I think people that I know are going to need and hopefully find it helpful. Well, let's get started. Uh, one of the first things I want to mention is the weather over here in the top left hand side and how you set that up uh, you have to enable it to show up on your home screen so the first thing we're going to do is go over to system and in the drop down choose settings and some of the things here uh, you'll notice this list of things here on the left hand side we'll go through those First, we're going to go through appearance, and you can see where there is the skin, uh, which is going to change how your XBMC looks. It can give a completely different look to it. It's currently using the Confluence skin. That's the one I prefer. However, there are many more skins available. If you just click on it, you can go to Get More, and you can choose to install other skins and enable which one you want to use. Um, settings underneath skin that's going to be the settings that are individual to the particular skin that you are using in this case confluence if I click on that you can see uh, different things that you can enable and disable enable auto scrolling for plot and review is one of the things I like to have on show paused and picture slideshow uh, I have that on the rest of these I have disabled under home window options you can have it show video information, music info, weather info. If you want it to show the weather on your home screen, this is what you need to turn on. Show recently added videos and recently added albums. You may have noticed earlier in the previous video that as I scrolled over videos after I had subscribed to some videos, that it showed a pop-up above with like a thumbnail from a movie or a TV show um, and that's what this does but I like a nice clean look so I go ahead and turn those off you can also choose to hide different things that are on your menu bar itself uh, the different buttons you can choose to hide the videos button the movies button the TV shows button which I don't know why you'd want to after we went to all that work to just enable those you could choose to hide the music or the pictures or the programs or the weather um, let's see under background options I pretty much just leave this as is add-on shortcuts now these are going to be for the add-ons that appear in the drop-down as you hover on your menu bar across videos or movies or TV shows um, or music or programs when those things pop up down underneath for the different add-ons. So earlier in the previous video we chose to add the one channel add-on to the video submenu. And any of the rest of these you could change to your liking. If you find certain video add-ons that you prefer you simply click and then you can choose from the list which one you want and click OK. Um, it's the same thing underneath. You can see that there's also a choice for up to seven for the music submenu or the pictures submenu. And then, of course, there's also the programs submenu. And one of the programs, which I do not have currently installed, program add ons, is a, a program add on called TV Rage Eps. It it kind of works like a TV guide and it will scan through your library of what TV shows you have in there and it'll tell you the next time that those are airing which is really particularly nice if this is what you're doing to watch all of your TV and maybe something that you normally watch is just now went out of season 
Well, if you have that installed and then pinned here, you can quickly click on it and view when that shows coming back on again, when it gets close enough to the time that that's going to air once again. Okay, uh, under the Xunity Skintegrate settings, okay, uh, this is going to also impact these four, top four options are going to impact your menu bar. You could choose to hide the Xunity search if you will not use it. You could choose to hide toolkit, which has some very important features in it. I, I like that on there because it gives me a quick way to the fixes and maintenance. Uh, you could choose to hide games, which I do, and you could choose to hide the Xunity karaoke, which I do. Under the skin color customization options, this is where you could choose um, to change a few. Hold on a minute. A few of the things about the skin colors. For example, um, when we enable the Xfinity repo um, and then use the Xfinity Talk Wizard, it installed this pretty blue and black swirly or paisley type background picture. If I didn't like the blue color, I could choose to go in here and then choose a different color. And it would still have the black, but it would be this other color instead of the blue. Um, you could also choose the home menu background color uh, from that kind of gray wood grain color to a different color. The home menu floor background color, this is down at the bottom is the floor. Uh, you could change, mess with the text colors here as well, and if you don't like what you did, you could reset the colors to the XUnity default or all the way back to the XBMC default. Um, let's see. Right here, you could choose to use a custom background instead of that paisley wallpaper that they use. And just by highlighting this and turning this on, you could then select a custom background and then this would highlight where you could actually choose this and browse to wherever you kept your pictures. Under Xunity add-on settings, you could choose to hide. Now, just let me uh, go back a moment. This is specific to the Xunity search that is on your um, your menu bar. When you hover over it, the little drop down that comes underneath. Um, says movies and movie search and TV, TV search settings and lists and faves. You could choose to hide any of these individual options or turn them all off. It, it's just whatever you want to do. Okay, um, under international, uh, this isn't going to impact anybody I know, but I'll go ahead and cover this real quick. This is where you would cha change your language and your region. And this is also where you would choose your time zone country and the actual time zone itself that you are in. And another thing you may want to do is uh, the screensaver. I don't like to have it on, but uh, there are other screensavers as well. When, by default, it is on dim, uh, which means after three minutes, it's automatically going to start to dim. I choose just click on it and choose none, but there are others, and you can get more as well. And you could also just choose uh, how long it is before the screensaver will actually begin. Uh, let's see, under video uh, and library, show plot for unwatched items. I like that. I leave the download actor thumbnails when adding to library. One of the things that I like to turn on is this, group movies in sets. And what this will do is if you have movies in your library uh, that have more than one movie to it, such as a sequel or it's a trilogy or whatnot, it will put it in your library as a collection. So instead of showing two, three, four, five movies of the same, and you have to hunt through your library for them, it will say whatever the name of the movie is and collection after it and if you click on it then it'll open up and show all the movies there together easily to access to see so that you can watch them one right after another you don't have to hunt down for them uh, let's see uh, what else you can choose to have it update library on startup I don't do that but you're more than welcome to and you can hide progress of library updates 
And what that is is when you when your library updates up here in the top right hand corner by your clock, it will show the scan as it's running to update the links. If you click on this and, and enable this, it will actually hide that and you won't even see it. Playback, yeah, this is things I don't think really all that many people are going to really have to mess with. File lists, I don't think, that, again, that or DVDs is anything that most people really have to mess with. If you do, again, you there's other videos on YouTube for that sort of thing. I'm kind of making this with some specific people in mind. So I'm trying to keep it nice and simple. Live TV, I'm not even going to cover that. That function is really for the use of if you have a TV tuner card installed in your computer. Um, I don't even need to touch that. Music, uh, much like video, this would be if you had a music library that you was linking to. Um, a music folder with, <coughs> excuse me, a music folder within your computer. Uh, you could set up the individual settings there for how you like it and get it to point to your library. Same thing with pictures. Weather settings, it's very simple. You can choose what uh, service you're going to use to gather your weather information. Uh, it currently, it comes pre-installed with Weather Underground, but you can choose to get more and then once you're done you can enable whichever one you want under settings you have to enable it you choose your location uh, it'll pop up and you can either enter in a zip code or a name of a town and click done when you're finished under advanced options then you can click there and choose how that town is going to display its name on your on your home menu uh, so if you don't want it to say a zip code or whatnot, you can type in whatever you want it to say. Click done. Add-ons. We were in there earlier. Uh, this is where obviously you go to get new add-ons. You can access disabled add-ons if you want to re-enable them. You can go to enabled add-ons and uninstall them or uh, disable them. Uh, I usually just stick stick within the get add-ons because you can go in there and go to add all add-ons and access them by categories and you can see all of them whether they're enabled or not enabled so that's good enough for that services I don't think there's going to be too much in here most people are going to need that's not what I really call basic settings. System, you have your display mode, your resolution, so if something's not showing up right with the right resolution, you, this is where you change it. Audio output, if you're having problems with your sound, uh, come in here to audio output and there's, you know, you'll have the option of HDMI or analog. Change it if you're having problems getting sound. Uh, Let's see what else. You can have a remote control, send keyboard presses, internet access, not a big deal, power saving, debugging, and master lock. I'm not messing with those right now. Under skin to grate, um, most of this stuff we went through through our appearance settings, but if you go down here to the Xunity add on settings, you can choose to hide movies from your uh, oh I, I did cover that that was on the Xunity search bar so I think we've pretty much covered all of that under the uh, Xunity skin to great settings though I don't know if I covered this or not you can choose to hide the entire Xunity search bar on your menu bar if you want or toolkit or hide games or Xunity Karaoke, which I have games and karaoke both hidden on mine. But I think I already covered that as well. Really, the only other thing I can think of off the top of my head um, that I wanted to show one last thing that I forgot to mention in the previous one was that under 
the one channel add-on. We'll go ahead and go to videos, add-ons, and highlight one channel and we're going to go into the menu. So we're going to click the C button to bring up the context menu. Choose add-on settings. There is a autoplay feature that you can set up as well in the one channel add-on and I forgot to uh, show this earlier. And if you scroll across the top to sources, you can go to autoplay and enable it. And then you can choose to enable sorting of sources. If you do this, and then we'll get to this next part after in just a moment, um, what this will do is instead of when you choose a movie or a TV show uh, from one channel, it popping up a list of links for you to choose from, it will sort those source links and according to how you set it up here and will in the background sort through them and look for the first one that will play meeting your settings here and it will just automatically play the first one for you so if you have it sorted by verified first it's going to look for the verified links first and play the first verified link it finds. If it can't find a verified link, I then have it sorted by views. So then it will find the next uh, highest viewed uh, link and play by that. And if that fails, it'll go by quality. And you want these on reverse sort on all of these. Uh, it's a very nice feature. Uh, just click a, a TV show, click a movie, and boom, it starts playing. But once in a blue moon, I've encountered a problem where for some reason it was a little iffy with uh, whatever link I was trying to play. So what I would do then is just come back into the one channel settings, turn off autoplay temporarily, and then I could go back into the movie or TV show I was trying to watch that I was having problems with, and then it will let me choose my source. I can watch whatever it was I was trying to watch and then come back in and turn autoplay back on because most of the time the autoplay feature works fantastic. Um, hopefully sometime in the future they'll have an easier way to disable uh, the autoplay feature maybe from the context menu or something. That would be really nice so you don't have to come back into your settings like this. Um, I think that's pretty much it for right now for what I was wanting to show. Pretty simple. I don't think. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't forget something. Oh, um, the YouTube add-on. If you go into the YouTube add-on and click on the C button for it to bring up your context menu and the add-on settings, uh, one of the things I was wanting to uh, mention was that under general, this is you would just simply click and put in your username, not your email address associated with your your YouTube, just your username. And then you would click here to put in your password. And you could also enable uh, YouTube Safe Search. It's automatically on uh, moderate, but you could turn it off or strict. So, uh, and you could choose your uh, max video quality for that as well. I think that pretty much covers. There are a few other ones that uh, can use an account as well, like the Film On but they're free accounts so I think that I think I'm done if I think of anything else I'll just create another video <laughs> uh, sorry if it was a little bit too simple on the settings for some people but again I was trying to keep it very very basic there's some people I know that are having a hard time understanding the setup of this and I needed it to be as simple as possible so uh, thank you for watching and have a good day